Going slightly incognito, what's inside the BAM box for March 2019? Shipped via the courier, I got myself another BAM box, ready to open up, ready to get going on this channel. The only thing is, I don't even know, is this the BAM box for March? Is this the BAM horror box for March? Is it the BAM pop culture box? We will find out as we delve, delve deeply into this and get this opened up. And of course, to do that, I'm going to have to grab my knife, my kniffy, my best friend in the knife world. I don't have many friends in the knife world. Good old Red. Let's get this opened up. Let's get this opened up. I know you guys are anxious. We're going to go ahead and open this up. And again, I'm not sure because right now BAM Box is transitioning over to their new box designs. So as it stands right now, we're getting these kind of brown mailer boxes. Uh, and it also doesn't show whether it's BAM Horror or BAM Pop Culture. So, again, your guess is as good as mine. We're going to find out as we get this opened up. Delve deeply into... Oh, I think it's actually Horror Box. I think it's the Horror Box. Why I say that is not necessarily because of the black tissue paper, because we get that with other BAM boxes, but it was because of something else in here. We're going to open this up, or pull this out, and one of my kind of guilty pleasure horror films the stuff can't get enough of the stuff uh, it is one of the recreated cardboard um, containers that the stuff was in the film and the stuff basically is this weird goo it's like this marshmallow stuff that they find and of course the first thing they think of is hey why don't we just eat this random thing that we found i think it was in a cave and they sell it to people I would say hilarity ensues. Hilarity doesn't really ensue. But uh, looks like this is a recreated carton or tub. Would you call this a cardboard tub? Featuring the stuff on the front. It says no artificial ingredients. One pint, 0.474 milliliters. That is pretty cool. I'm going to have to put that up on my shelf right by the stuff film that I have. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, going as well into this, we've got a 1UP congratulations, you've got a 1UP card, you instantly, I added instantly by the way, you have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box, indicated by the blue. Let's see what that translates to. Oh, I just rhymed, <laughs> I just rhymed. Also inside, we've got ourselves a Camp Crystal Lake Cozy. Would you call this a cozy? It is, of course, something that keeps beverages cool. You put your beverage in there, which I just don't happen to have right now with the stuff. No, the stuff doesn't fit in there, you silly, silly man. Uh, Camp Crystal Lake, a little cozy. I don't know if, obviously, I don't know if these cozies would have existed in Camp Crystal Lake. Why not? Why wouldn't they? I mean, the 80s, I mean, of course, everybody would have had cozies back then. I'm bringing the cozies back. Just FYI, anybody that's coming over to the house, let me know first. Uh, we're going to have drinks with the cozies. We're going to get cozy with the cozies. I don't even know. Is that what they're called? Cozies? Inside as well, the BAM Horror Box, I love this, is the Freddy Krueger pin, but he's got the little cool slotted eye glasses. Only 250 made, which is likely why we got the, ourselves the blue card. The blue card holds up the ref. It's limited to 250, and what's this one called? This is Scary 80s, a design by Brian Romero. This pin has a limited release of 250. Pins are numbered on the back. Huzzah, I say aloud. Huzzah, that crowd hears as this review has opened up. And that's a really cool pin. I'm going to have to find a place to put that. Bam Horror, much like Bam Pop Culture, also gives you some autographs. So let's reach inside and see what we got. One is probably going to be an art print. And then the other one is going to be an, uh, an like an actor or actress print. I know I'm waving my hands around a lot. I Really, the setting bar, what for me was the stuff and it seems like everything has gotten progressively better the pin is really cool okay maybe the cozy isn't as cool as the stuff container let's see if we can continue on a high here so for certificate of authenticity we've got ourselves a print from the classic movie fright night this is out of 2000 copies this is 401 and let's see what it says here the bam horror box fan art collection art print frightening has been hand-signed by Artist Rehab for the BAM box and is guaranteed to be authentic. That is cool. I'm going to have to find a place to put that. Likely by maybe the stuff, maybe further away from the stuff. That's pretty cool. 
And then we've got ourselves also an autograph. Now, is that Skippy? That is Skippy also from Family Ties. I didn't even know he was in a horror movie. Let's find out. It says this photograph has been hand signed by Mark Price, who played Eddie Weinbauer in Trick or Treat. Not Trick or Treat, not the one that has Sam, but a movie called Trick or Treat, where I think had Gene Simmons in it, if I'm not mistaken, possibly Alice Cooper. Uh, it was signed during a private signing with Bambox and is guaranteed to be authentic. Eddie Weinbauer, who also happened to be Skippy from Family Ties. Somebody's like, what, what's Family Ties? Oh, I'm so old. Either way, though, if you guys are interested in subscribing to either the BAM box. Oh, wait, there's also a card. Here I am wrapping up. The producer's saying, what are you doing? I should have looked over when the producer's going like this, frantically trying to tell me. You still got to look at the card, mister. Let's have a look at the card, which so happened to also be the spoiler sheet for February. February is what it was. The BAM box exclusive Scary 80s fan art pins by artist Brian Romero. There was the Stuff Prop Replica Tub, which I'm actually going to read because this has me very curious. When I was a little girl, I didn't think there was anything I'd like much better than ice cream. Well, now I'm a big girl and I decided there's something I like better, much better. It's called the Stuff. And believe me, enough is enough. Now you'll have your own tub of the delicious, mysterious goo that oozes from the earth. I know, it tastes as good as it sounds. The actual stuff, sadly not included, because of the whole zombie-like effects and all. Also included was the Camp Crystal Lake Lake Custom Drink Cozy. It was called a cozy. Get cozy with the cozy. Also included was a Bambox exclusive frightening fan art collection art print by artist Rehab. There were two versions. Two versions. Uh, one of which was, uh, well, we got this one right here. We didn't get this one right here, and I can't, I can't remember the guy's name. I, evil? Is it evil? Evil. I'm going to throw that out. Evil as my final answer. The Bambox, Bambox private signing with Mark Price, who played Eddie in Trick or Treat. Actually, Mark, uh, Mark Price was the artist, or Mark Price was the actor. I know I said it for the character. It is actually Mark Price. I just want to call him Skippy. Uh, came in two different prints. This one is kind of more like a, a poster cover art, and then this one's a scene from the movie. This is the one that I got right here. I love the font, though, I might add, for the trick or treat. Kind of how the tops of the T's look like bats. Did you notice that as well? Right now, you can win a Linda Blair signed 8x10 photo uh, with also a certificate of authenticity inscribed Sweet Dreams. Enter to win in our trading community by simply heading over to the Bambox at www.thebambox.com forward slash community. Also, while you're at it, make sure you head over to www.bambox.com to either subscribe to the BAM Horror Box or the BAM Pop Culture Box, which I've already done an unboxing of. Wait, you did an unboxing of that? You missed out, sir. You were down the street. You were playing with your friends, probably riding around on your bikes. Do they even do that thing anymore? All oh, right, I'm thinking of Stranger Things. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. You can subscribe to this channel. You can head over to Bambox and subscribe to either the Pop Culture Box or Pop Horror Box. Throwing out a whole lot of subscribing instructions for you guys, the viewers. Either way, subscribe also to the Bambox. Subscribe to this channel. More videos will be coming your way. I'll see you guys next time.